This yellow plane right here is the ATR-42 project I started about two years ago. As you can see, it's getting close to completion. I have motors on. I say in about a month, this will be flying. Before I, before I give you an update on this, I'm going to show you guys what else I've been working on. So there's two projects that kind of encompass the new techniques I've been using with Depron. Uh, so right here is an ERJ-175. It's pretty small, only 45 inch. But compared to this build right here, this thing is lightweight, it's got a very smooth scale nose. This is not sandy yet, but it's a uh, minimal structure. It's going to have retracts. I think just I think it's turning out really well. It's got internal linkaging on the rudder. Um, everything smooth, scale thicknesses on the tail. It's straight lined up. This is everything I like about my new method of model building. Right here is a Beechcraft Queen Air. 60 inch. I've had issues with the wing lately. Um, that's why I started this a year ago and I still haven't even posted anything about it. This will be finished in the this winter. It's got a scale cockpit in there. Nice interior. I even got the retract in there. So that's another future build that will be finished. And then once again, everything is just built up so much nicer than what I did here. The reason I'm telling you guys this is because if you if you work on ATRs, you uh, know them in detail, you can probably see there's a few issues here. This is the old methods I used to use, so if you remember my first build video, I probably mentioned how much of a nightmare the nose was. The, these whole plans were not, they did not fit well when I scaled them up, which is understandable. Uh, they weren't that detailed, I had to add my own formers and everything. There's a few major issues. The first, once again, the nose. Don't like how it turns out. Out of how it turned out, uh, as you can see, it's very abrupt in between the sheeting patterns. There's not enough material to sand, so I, just, I had to leave it like that. The nacelles are too long, so I only have a few weekends a month to to work on this. So in between weekends, I sometimes I forget, you know, where I am, where I'm at. So this whole section should be moved back in the wing. So this whole nacelle and motor mount is actually four inches too long. The real ATR nacelle ends about here. That's where the prop is. Um, another issue, the landing gear. It's a very strong structure. It has a little bounce. I like that. But it's too far back. So the rotation point on this plane is should be about, the CG is about here. The rotation point should be here. The actual wheel is here, so it's going to be hard to rotate the plane on takeoff and hold a, hold a, uh, the nose up when I land on the ground. But most people won't notice these things, so I'm still going to obviously finish this build soon. But because of uh, these you know, non-scale issues, I'm going to make this an FPV plane. So I'm actually planning to run a long antenna out here. There's going to be a camera mounted here. And if there's a silver lining in these uh, engine pro or engine length problems is that it pushes CG forward for me. So this is what it looks like right now. The wing fairing turned out nice. Um, I got two bolts in the front, one bolt in the back to hold the wing on. There's nothing really inside right now. I'm planning to use uh, two 3300 three cells, one per motor. So I'll get 20 plus minute flight times. Each motor is a 480 size. It's going to be running counter rotating 10 by 5 props. Perfect for FPV. Um, I think it should weigh less than three and a half pounds ready to fly, which is actually on the heavier end than uh, compared to the other turbo props I built. But I'll get five pounds of thrust. So this plane has been a headache. So all that's left is I need to uh, mount the propellers, engine control services, including the flaps, which do you have a uh, internal linkages? The, uh, the servo is hidden right in there. Uh, elevator and rudder are done. Mount the receiver, the battery, and this thing is ready to fly. So stay tuned for that.